Hi, Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film in which I'll talk you through my grade boundary predictions for the Edexcel IGCSE maths exams for the higher tier in summer 2025. Now there on the screen is a reminder for you of the important dates. There's the date for paper one, 15th of May, the date for your paper two, Wednesday the 4th of June, and results day, Thursday the 21st of August. Now, as you probably know, your results will depend solely on the total number of marks you get. That's one mark out of 100 on paper one, and another mark out of 100 on paper two. And those two marks are added together, and it's that total which will determine what grade you're awarded. Now, let's have a look at historically what the grade boundaries have been. And you can see there in the table how the grade boundaries have varied for each particular grade from the first set of results, which was in June 18, all the way through to November 24, which was the last set of IGCSE papers that students sat. So have a look at your target grade there and see what sort of marks students have needed to score as a total on the two papers, as a total out of 200, in order to get that target grade. However, you can see that there's some variation through the years, and this can be quite misleading. Here's a graph that shows you how the different, how the grade boundaries for the different grades have varied through the years. And you can see that there's this terrific dip in the middle, those COVID years, and they, that dip in the middle is in danger of making us feel that the grade boundary will be lower than perhaps it will. So here, is the graph without the dip. But I haven't quite got it right, because these two marks here, June 23 and November 23, during those times, the grey boundaries were still adjusting to their pre-pandemic levels. So looking at the graph now, I'm kind of thinking I should have also deleted June 23 and November 23, because the bottom line is, that when it comes to your exams in summer 25, I suspect that the grey boundaries will look very like June 24 and November 24. So what I'm predicting is that you'll need 163 marks out of 200, so more than 80 on each paper on average, to get a 9. 136-ish, 70% on both papers would be nice, give you a score of 140 for an 8. 110 for a 7. Now, in times gone by, I often used to think, oh, about 100 would get you a 7. I don't think it will. I think you need to be looking at 110 to get a 7. So 55 on each paper. And then 88, 67, 46, and 35. So do not let the historical grey boundaries lull you into a false sense of security. I suspect that the, grade, the mark you will require to get your target grade will be very similar to those marks you see on the right hand side of this table to the marks that were required in November 24. So that's it and that's my predictions but of course nobody knows we might hazard a guess once we see the papers but the bottom line is we won't know what the grade boundaries are until they're released on results day but if I were going for a nine for example I would be aiming for 163 plus 136 plus for an 8, 110 plus for a 7 and so on. I hope that makes some sense. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and of course I'll respond. If you found the film useful, hit like, leave me a comment, leave me a question, tell your friends about the film. Thanks for watching. See you in the next film.